Jared Chenock is doing what he once thought was impossible. Five years ago, he was paralyzed from the waist down after a snowmobile accident. He is now able to take small steps. To be able to move uh, my legs and to walk, even to stand, it means a lot. Um, that there's hope for not only me, but other people. Jared was the first patient at the Mayo Clinic in the United States to have an electrical stimulation device implanted near his damaged spinal cord. Spinal injuries disrupt nerve paths that normally allow the brain to signal the legs to move. In this study, doctors implanted an electrical stimulator at the base of the spine between the vertebrae and spinal column. When it's turned on, the electrical signals appear to awaken those injured nerve pathways, letting the brain communicate with the legs once again. After months of intense therapy, Jared can move back and forth. A report on his progress has been published in Nature Medicine. Because we were able to stimulate directly the spinal cord itself, and we believe that that was very important to be able to regain the volitional control or voluntary control. Jared's road to recovery has not been easy, but he credits a woman he met after his accident for giving him the strength to fight. Working out at the gym every day for five to six days a week to a couple hours a day. And the girl that helped me is now my wife. And she pushes me hard. Further research is being done to understand why the stimulator is working and how it can help others. We still have a long way to go before we can optimize this therapy, make it relevant to other patients. If successful, this procedure could have the potential to help millions of people around the world who can't move because of a spinal cord injury. Dorsa Jabari, Al Jazeera, 